Hey you guys, we have a Slay Glam unboxing. So this month for August, the Slay Glam came like this. I'm gonna have a little conversation with you guys. But I, want, I don't want all this noise, you know, all of this going on, so hold on. Let me get a scissor. Let's open the baby up and then we can talk. So for my July Slay Glam unboxing, I went through the comments section and I realized that although everything seemed pretty normal, right? Everyone has an opinion, we're good to go. It turns out that there may have been one to two people maybe who were under the impression that I was purposely being evil towards the Slay Glam. Don't worry you guys, don't go look for it. It's still there. I don't, I'm don't. i not one to delete comments or anything like that. I feel like my opinion is mine, yours is yours. And if you think I'm being evil, then I'm sorry. I like to provide my reviews based on my personal opinion, like real impressions, having product in my hand. I just like to keep it real. I just felt the way that I felt about that particular just month. And in reality, the highlights for me when it comes to the Soleil Glam are the palettes. I've always said that. I've always said they know how to do duo chromes right. They know how to X, Y, and Z. Their palettes are exciting. I was unboxing the Soleil Glam before their relaunch, before the little hiatus. I unboxed back then, I'm unboxing again now. Not every single month is gonna be positive and I cannot absolutely love every single palette every single month. There may be one that didn't work out for me and that was for the month of July. However, I reached out to Rasha, the owner of Slay Glam. I had a one-on-one -on -one with her because the reality is she has always been absolutely kind to me. She's been awesome. She and I have talked here and there for years. And so I reached out and I said, hey, I would like for you to remove me off of PR. And she says, why? And I said, well, I feel like I don't always highlight your box as like the best box. This past month, uh, the I, the box didn't wow me and I would hate for you to continue to send the product to me. And if I don't have positive ratings for you, I don't want it to be something where it's bad for your company. So I, I requested to get removed off of PR. And in turn, I was informed, I get it, it's okay. You can't love everything, it is your personal opinion. People look forward to your unboxings and your try-ons. We would love to continue to send it to you. You've always been who you are, you've always been honest. We totally get it. So, but as long as they're good with me providing an honest review, I'm more than happy to unbox when I am able to if they choose to send me PR on an ongoing basis. No, nothing's gonna change. We will continue to unbox when I am able to. When they send the PR, we will move forward from this and it is what it is. We're gonna go ahead and unbox the August box. We're gonna see. So, numero uno is going to be, I didn't get a card, no, they don't give cards anymore. I ended up getting a Charmacy something. It says Dual Chrome Highlighter. Now this packaging is fun. I like that. But it's not about the packaging because it's so about la basura. It goes in the garbage and then what? So, let's see. Oh, that's cute. It says Illuminator 615. I'm assuming that's the name. How pretty is that? But of course, we're going, is that? Oh my God, it looks like a mermaid. So technically I swatched the green, but then I swatched the, the white, the frost, and it kind of looks the same. Oh my goodness, I can't stand it when you don't get the full effect. When you look at it, it's very iridescent. You get, oh, there you go, you get the green. You get a little bit of yellow, you get white. Okay, I like that. Now it says it's a highlight. I'm gonna add it on the eyes just in case, I'm not sure. I will do a video featuring this, like obviously all the products from the box for now. Let's just kind of like see how it goes. I. Okay, so that's, oh my God, what if it's gonna look different on the eye? So that's, was that the green? No, this is supposed to be the white. Oh, I don't remember at this point. Hold on, let's see. Okay, yeah, so this finger, which is the one that I went in here, that's the white. And on this side is where I swatched the green. And when you look at it, it looks the same when the light, oh, that looks pretty. I would not apply that on my cheeks. I think that would be way too, see? It would be, oh, it would, let me remove that. It would be very, very glittery. So for the eyes, yes. For the cheeks, no. But the it's a highlighter, so you can use that anywhere. That's pretty cool. Then I ended up getting a Dripping Diamonds Beauty Multi-Chrome Gloss. This thing was so damn good last time. I still have it here on my vanity because it's that, I really, really liked it. This shade was everything on my lips. I'll go ahead and swatch it again so you guys could see it. But this one, packaging is very similar and it looks like it's gonna be a gold. Here is the go. I don't know what that's gonna look like on the lips, so we'll wait and see what happens. It might look pretty, it might not. This one though, this one last month really shocked me because I felt like it was gonna look weird on the lips, but then it just looked stunning. It has pinky hues to it, which I didn't expect, so it looked beautiful on the lips. Now that over here, I don't know. It looks like it would be fun, but it also depends on when the light hits it. Would it look like too shimmery? 
Ugh. All right, so that's item number two. Number three is a trio of gel liners. Packaging for the liners is gonna look like this. It is by the brand Clo Cloyer Gold Black Pearl. Don't know what that means. I, I'm, and then green diamond. So I'm assuming the black has a pearlescent finish and then the green looks like, oh my God, has shimmers to it. I'm gonna have to do it on this hand, hold on. If it's a gel, it's supposed to be creamy. I want you to take a look at those swatches. The green, the thicker swatch has been built up, but then right next to it, you'll see a thin line. That is just one swipe. So although it is a gel, it's very creamy. It does apply as a cream. It is not going to be opaque unless you really kind of go back and forth and build it up. This here is built up. That line is literally me doing one swipe. It literally skipped and there's barely product. Same thing happened with the gold, but then the gold line seems a little better than the green at least, but you can still see through to the skin. It is not opaque, but this is the black. It looks like a really deep maroon. Yes, I went back and forth, same way. I built it up, but that line was just one swipe. That glided like a perfect gel. So when it comes to these two, you're gonna have to build it up to get opacity. If not, you're, it's gonna be fairly lightweight and they are shimmery, but this matte girl, it just, mm, and it did its thing. And I, it's actually, that one's actually pretty nice. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna assume it's a mascara because of the tubi. The packaging is really pretty. I think this is the brand, is it Dripping Diamonds too? Cause they sent over lipsticks that look just like this. And I think it is Dripping Diamonds. Oh my God. Look how pretty. Okay, so this, oh, it's green. Okay, green could be fun. I, I wasn't expecting it to be green. I was hoping it was black. I know I'm being picky. I was hoping it would be black so that I could keep it up here and it would look pretty and I could use it all the time. It's a loose formula, so it's not very moussey, but it's creamy. And the wand is like a basic wand. I wonder how that's gonna perform on the eyes. Okay. Oh, the packaging is so pretty, but about that green. Although I like, oh, wait, I think I saw what this is. I think I saw a spoiler, hold on. That's why they sent green. That's a lot of green though. I removed this lip cover and when I opened her up, look at this. We are getting six shades of green. You guys look at these shades. Okay, so to be fair, it's very pretty. I kind of wish there was a deeper, forest green down here somewhere only because I want to smoke it out. So if I wanted to smoke it out, I would have to use a deeper, deeper shade, but you never know if I blend out the edge of these dual chromes and it'll do the trick. You just really never know until it's on the eyeball. Now that is an all green palette, hello. And I just, did. see this is what I'm used to. And you know what's really funny? Didn't I just do an unboxing and you know I did where I opened up a palette and I was like, oh, oh okay. I, I, I Jade, everything on the outside is green. I'm assuming the inside was gonna be green too. And yes, Jade can come in different colors. Most of the time it's green, but it could be blue, it could be yellow, but hear me out. The exterior of the packaging was green. The decoration, the design, pretty much all green and had like a forest in the background. So I'm like, oh, all greens, hmm, no. Which is fine, that palette is a lot of fun. It's really pretty, be ready for that try on. I'm actually pretty excited for this. So I'm feeling maybe, maybe like this middle shade over here with some of this one at the beginning of the eyeball. And then if I'm able to really smoke out and not have to worry about depth, we're good. And if not, then I'll just go in with a brown and it should be fine. So I've showed you all the items featured for August let's get into the product roundup. There's there's a lot of green. <laughs> and I like green, but there's a lot of green. And even this has a little bit of a green gold shift. So the question is, how do we put this together? I don't know. Formula looks nice for the eyeshadow palettes. I just said this is stunning. This, I don't know how that's gonna work. I think it'll be something like a one-time use and it'll be fun, but unless you're into shimmer like that, like hella shimmer, I don't really see people using a gold tone on their lips like that. I could be wrong, but personal preference, I wouldn't walk around with gold like that all over my lips. I mean, you guys have been here for a while, you know my channel. I'm more of like nudes, I'll use berries, I'll use reds, I'll go deep. But like, when have you seen me wear like a full on gold with glitter all over the lips? I'll play around with it. As of right now, I'll say it's a pass, but I could always change my mind. And I'm choosing my words wisely because at first I was like, this is not gonna work and then I loved it, so. Mm. Then the mascara, I will use it. I think it's fun, but I don't see myself gravitating towards it like on an ongoing basis, but it will still have fun creating a look. Then out of the three liners, the only one that I was like, oh, is the black pearl. Not only it's because it doesn't look black, but at the same time, when I swatched, it performed way better. So I see myself using everything green just in general for a look, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Is it a lot of shimmer? Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe the shimmer should have been like spread out a little bit, you know, but we'll see what we come up with. All right, you guys, you already know the drill. Hop in the comment section. Let me know your feedback on this variation for the month of August. What are you thinking? Are you vibing it? Are you not? And let me know, is green your vibe or are you 100% no for green? Make sure you check out my Ipsy unboxings. I have my Icon box, BoxyCharm by Ipsy box and the Ipsy Glam Bag already live as well as all the try-ons. My Ice Cream Beauty box and bag unboxings are live and the try-ons for that are live as well. You guys get excited. I have a ton of fun content planned coming your way. And if you're new here, I want to take a moment to invite you to join a little family here on the YouTube by hitting the subscribe button below. If it is red, you are not subscribed. It needs to be gray. I upload six days out of the week because I want to make sure you have fun ongoing content at all given times. I'm going to go ahead and recommend two videos here on screen. I'm hoping you'll consider checking out. And if you do, I will see you guys over there. Bye guys.